Hey guys, we are in my car, which is kind of a new thing uh, to see here on the channel since most of the time we talk about home servers and self-hosting and things like that. Uh, this time, if you follow me on social media, whether it's in Discord or Twitter or Facebook or whatever, you may have an idea. Of course, you've seen the thumbnail. So for the past few weeks, I've been working on putting together a Raspberry Pi computer that will fit in the dash of my car. So let's take a look at what that build process is like. Okay, so first layer here on top of this printed uh, install board. Up here, I've just got the UPS uh, set up and it's actually gonna be powered by this buck converter uh, right here. That's a 15 watt, five volt, three amp, like it says right here, type C, 12 volt input. That'll come uh, straight from uh, the car uh, on this end over here. Uh, and if we flip it over, of course, then we've got, uh, like I said, the UPS under there battery underneath and then I'm going to put the Raspberry Pi on top of this and power it off of one of these USB ports right here. So now we've got the Raspberry Pi on there uh, on that second layer um, and you, here you can see that that is uh, being powered off of this really long uh, USB cable. It's overkill. It's what I had available. I'll cable manage it all before we get to that point. Uh, also if you're going to use the Raspberry Pi UPS that I'm using here make sure uh, that that switch right there uh, is easy to get to uh, while you're putting everything together. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time getting to it later uh, to turn it on to have the UPS power available. So here we've got um, this top layer on here. Now this is just so I can have active cooling for the CPU and the chips and whatnot. That's all uh, I'm doing with uh, this board right here on top. I do have uh, power and ground set up uh, for the touch screen uh, that's on the other side of this, obviously. Uh, and of course the, uh, the the cable there for that. Uh, next thing we need to do is actually hook up uh, this uh, this relay right here. We're gonna put this on this third row of pins right here. Uh, basically anytime this uh, relay gets power or stops getting power, it's gonna click, which will then send a momentary uh, interrupt to those pins and we'll use the GPIO uh, DT overlay to turn this off and on. And that's basically all we're gonna do with that. Okay, so here we've got everything <clears throat> set up and installed. We've got our, again, we've got uh, this up here to go to the screen on the front. Uh, these two wires go over to the relay that I've actually mounted onto the back of the stereo here. Hopefully that'll fit in to my console with no issues. Hard drive here plugged into USB 3. There, uh, Bluetooth, uh, uh, we've got uh, our sound card right here. All of this is good to go. You can see actually how close uh, we came here. This is for my flashers and that's really how close we came there. I think everything here is gonna fit really well. Uh, next steps will be to actually take this in, put it in the car, plug everything in. <clears throat> okay, so here we are in the car. Uh, here is my open dash. Uh, there's a lot of wires in there that I'll try to cable manage a little bit, but uh, basically what I wanna do first, you may have noticed uh, as we were kind of going through some of the video earlier that uh, kind of down here at the bottom right here, uh, you'll notice that I left my uh, aftermarket stereo in there and that's because I wanted to still be able to uh, use my, my steering wheel volume controls here. Uh, I also have a subwoofer under my seat uh, I didn't want to install a DAC or anything like that on the Pi, so uh, this will get plugged into uh, to the, the receiver down here. Uh, and then uh, the audio out will actually go to the auxiliary in on the front of my DAC that I'll try to show here in a minute. Uh, so I, I left the deck in there so that I would have uh, a bit more flexibility. And if I ever decide to, I can take this out and uh, it, it, nothing will be affected. Uh, it'll just be the regular deck in there again. Okay, so here is my dashboard. Of course, you can see that it is red. Uh, that's just a little thing that I did, gosh, I don't know, a year or so ago. I wanted to kind of spruce up the inside of my car. I love my car. It's a 2010 Kia Forte, uh, and it's, I just, I love this car. Lots of fun to drive. Uh, it is the five-speed manual version. Uh, and of course, you can see I did some more uh, red down there. Um, yeah, so that that's kind of my dash uh, as it currently sits here. Um, so what we want to do to to get this going, obviously, is start the car. <clears throat> Sorry, that noise is my dash cam up there. Uh, but here we've got uh, the screen that is uh, on my dash here. Obviously, you saw a little flicker there. Uh, that tells me that it's powering up. Uh, this process usually takes about 30 seconds from the time I turn the key until I'm on the actual uh, home screen of, uh, of, the, uh, of the system there. 
Uh, what I want to do is actually make sure that my Bluetooth and my Wi-Fi are off so that we can get an idea uh, of what's going on there. There's just a little boot animation that I made. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning how to make a boot animation of your own for this, definitely let me know. I'd be happy to share that with you uh, in another video. Um, but this is just something that I, I put together just kind of messing around the other night. And then uh, right there, I, I was talking over it, but uh, there was a little startup sound there that said that was Deadpool yelling maximum effort, uh, big Deadpool fan. Um, so here we are uh, on the home screen. Again, that takes a little bit of time to get us there. So let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see if we can't get some focus. So here we are again, like I said, we're on the home screen. Uh, of course, we've got just some standard stuff here like telephone. Uh, and of course, I've got all of my contacts and all of that in there. If I just push dial uh, at this point, uh, you know, of course, I can just dial any phone number I want. Of course, you shouldn't do that while you're driving. Use your voice to dial your contacts while you're driving, if that's what you have to do. Uh, so let's go. Uh, let's go home back to the home screen there. Uh, so we did telephone, Android Auto. Uh, we'll come back to that. Auto Box. Uh, that is for uh, for you, uh, Apple users. That's what Auto Box is for. Mirroring doesn't work on the newest version of Android, so that one's kind of out. Rear camera. I don't have that hooked up uh, to. I don't actually have that hooked up to this because uh, I do have uh, that, and if I put my car in reverse. Uh, I got a backup camera there. So I uh, didn't really feel the need to put one here, uh, but it's very, very easy to do. Um, so we've covered the top row. The bottom row here is dashboards. Uh, what this actually is, is for uh, OBD2 connectivity. So if you've got one of those, you know, cheap Amazon, like 10, 12 bucks uh, for one of their Amazon uh, OBD2 readers, not an Amazon brand necessarily, but one of those you can pick up on Amazon for a few bucks. Uh, you can actually configure uh, this system to actually play nicely with your OBD uh, thing there. Uh, so we'll give this just a second to do its thing. Um, right here, it's it's still loading up, it's thinking. Uh, so we'll give this just a minute, there it goes. Uh, so here we can see uh, my temperature uh, right here for my coolant, my intake temperature. This really makes me wanna do a colder intake. Um, so the, the load is 31%, RPMs are about 650, and the throttle position is at 13, and of course, if I rev, you know, we get we get pretty pretty close to real time accurate data there. Uh, you know, it's it's a little laggy, but nothing uh, nothing too too bad there. Uh, of course, if I want to, I can go back. And there are uh, different uh, dashboards here for different bits of information. Uh, if you want to get into the config folder and con config file of uh, Open uh, or Auto op or Open Auto Pro, uh, you can you can manipulate these and change them however you want. Um, I did run into some issues because of my own. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, and I had some issues getting everything to read, and Fahrenheit, uh, by default, you know, the rest of the world uses Celsius, uh, and we don't. It took me a minute to figure out how to get everything to read the, the way I wanted it to, uh, but once I did that, it, it's, it was a cakewalk. So, uh, so that's that. Again, we do have uh, a few of these different uh, dashboards here uh, for, for the dip, different bits of information you might want, like so. Uh, I would probably use this one most often. Uh, I just kind of like the, how simple it is, that sort of thing. So very, very easy to use there. So let's go back to the home screen. So if I had music uh, on here, and I absolutely could, um, uh, with the storage option, there's also Bluetooth, I could connect that. Uh, but storage, so if you've got, like I've got a 256 gig M.2 drive in here uh, for this setup. And uh, I could just put a ton of music on here and have music ready to go whenever I wanted. Um, but I don't have any of that on there right now. I do everything through Bluetooth, uh, which I want to show here in just a moment. All right. So uh, basically, let's go back one more screen here. Um, again, so Equalizer, uh, they've got a great equalizer in here. Uh, this thing does an amazing job um, for, for, what, for what it is, being a pre-built equalizer in a system like this. I've got it just set to rock. Uh, pop is also pretty good for what I listen to, uh, being right up here. There's also an option for custom, uh, and you can do that if you want. But there's a great uh, graphic equalizer in here for, uh, for really tweaking uh, your full spectrum of uh, frequency ranges there. So that's what's going on there. 
uh, applications. Uh, we, we've got a few of them in here. If I wanted to, I could actually uh, watch YouTube, which I don't, again, I don't recommend doing uh, while you're driving. Um, but I guess if you wanted to, or you were just hanging out, maybe trying to occupy uh, uh, a child's time or whatever, I'm, and it's not gonna do that because uh, I'm not hooked up to my phone. Uh, that's why it's not showing up anything there. But you could, if you wanted to, watch YouTube, uh, Cody Chromium. Uh, Well.io, uh, this one right up here, uh, is like an AM, FM thing, but I don't know that it works uh, here in our area, here in North America anyway. Um, so that's kind of the home screen uh, when you get in there, what that looks like. And now we can go into uh, settings, and there's a bunch of settings in here. There's Android Auto. Again, we'll come to that. Um, audio, uh, if you want it to play music automatically after a startup, uh, you can absolutely do that. Uh, splash audio, I've got maximum effort there. Uh, you can So you can change what the, the audio is uh, when you when you first sign in or when you first start uh, the system up, what the ringtone will be, what the phone notifications will be. You can customize all of that to your heart's desire um, and, and you just browse to those files, whatever's on your system here, and then you're good to go. So uh, next we can look at system. Uh, so that's downloading cover art, touchscreen type, whether it's single or multi. Because this is an official uh, Raspberry Pi touchscreen, uh, thank you to Kanika for sending this over to round out this this build. Uh, this is an official one, though, so the, the, the multi works. Uh, if you wanted to, you could rotate your screen uh, if you wanted to do that, or if you installed your screen upside down, something like that, you, you could rotate as necessary. Um, appearance, I, I really dig this. So this black and red thing that I've got going on here, uh, that's that's all me. Uh, my, like I said, I did the the red and the black and the just with with the the this uh, model of Kia, everything was red and black. So I just kind of ran with that. Uh, you can change the time format, temperature units, um, all, all of that is available in here. Uh, we can come into here. Uh, OBD bar scale mode, uh, font scale, show clock, uh, all of those are options. I guess the colors aren't in here, they're in their own uh, special little area there. Uh, again, mirroring doesn't work on the newest version of Android anymore. Uh, you can switch day and night how you want your appearance to be. Set your own wallpapers, rear camera is an option there. Volume, uh, oops, yeah, if we do that, nope, that was the wrong one. Volume, volume steps, you can do it as, uh, you know, anything from like one to 100. Uh, preamp is 100, is what I've got it currently set up. You can actually have it change volume when you're backing up, which I dig. Uh, again, that doesn't really apply to me. I don't have the camera set up, but you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, languages, uh, you can change that. There are gestures available. So if you got a phone call or, or whatever, you can enable gestures uh, and, and do uh, different things on the system. Answering calls, new tracks, previous, like there's all kinds of stuff in here that you can do with gestures. Um, I don't know why I didn't have that turned on, but I do now. So glad I'm making this video all of a sudden. Um, screen orientation, again, you can rotate there. Let's see what else we have. Wireless, uh, you can actually set up a wireless hotspot. Uh, I recommend doing the, the, the 2.4G uh, wireless hotspot in this just for, uh, for ease of use and whatnot. Also, um, this is, if you decide you want to use uh, wireless Android Auto, you will need to have a hotspot set up. And the, uh, the, the SSID that shows up on your phone will be like Open Auto. Uh, or Open Auto Pro, and then the the password for that network is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero, um, and you can change that if you want to, uh, but again you'll have to do that in the configuration file for Open Auto Pro. So let's go back one more screen. Maybe there we go. Uh, again, language gestures, colors, uh, colors. <clears throat> Uh, this is where I spent a significant amount of my time uh, getting all of these colors exactly the way I wanted them to be for backgrounds and fonts and icons and, and all of that. And all of that is to say, you can't change the Android Auto logo and I hate it. I hate that that can't be changed. Uh, I know it's like the official logo or whatever, but uh, everything else is black and red, but that's blue. Bugs the crap out of me. Um, uh, below that, we've got AutoBox. Again, that's for, I believe that's for iOS users. And then the version is right down here or you can see i'm running open auto pro 13.2 so at this point i think it makes sense to actually go ahead and connect to our, our to our android auto and what i'm going to do in order to do that um is on my phone uh, all i have to do is actually just turn on my bluetooth and my wi-fi in fact it'll usually do all of that for me 
uh, here you can see it automatically connected. And then here in a moment, this will change. I wanna make sure that my, there it goes, audio is all the way down, like so. And it's playing uh, Pink Floyd's Money right now. You can see that the map automatically pulled up. Uh, you can then from there um, open up, um, I'm using um, Spotify, like you can see, obviously, um, but then I can, you know, I can just scroll through and select the song I want to play, and if I wasn't worried about copyright, I would play that music for you, but I'm not gonna. So uh, from here, we can come back, uh, and we've got some different options here as far as um, what apps are available. Um, again, we can, you know, we can do like phone, and there is um, uh, my, my phone list, uh, but basically, I mean, it, it really is just that easy. Let me turn, oops, no, let's turn that off. Go to the home page, oops, no, home. What are we doing there? Oh, I can do, like if I wanted to, I could just click weather. What's the weather like out there? Currently in Colorado Springs, it's 87 degrees and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 89 and a low of 55. So that's what, how that works. Um, and again, uh, this was all super easy to set up. The, the operating system from Blue Wave Audio is about 30 bucks. Um, and, and of course they've got add-ons for uh, like the, the splash screen uh, that we saw originally that I made. Uh, they've got them for all the different auto manufacturers. Uh, and that pack is like five bucks or something. Uh, if you don't want to make your own, uh, you can absolutely use a pre-built they've got just buy the whole pack. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that is how this works. Um, I will say that over, over, over here, uh, right there, uh, is, uh, the microphone that I'm using, uh, for this setup and it works really well. I can say, Hey Google, what's the weather like outside? Right now in Colorado Springs, it's 87 degrees and sunny today. It'll be sunny. So that's how that works. Works really well. Uh, even if I'm playing music or whatever, um, it does a good job of, of hearing me and, uh, and, and picking up exactly what I'm looking for there. Okay, guys, there you go. There is my new Raspberry Pi 4 in dash computer slash infotainment center, uh, Android auto system, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there it is. I will have links to everything in the description down below where you can check that out and build one of these yourself. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with how I did this, I uh, do want to give a big shout out to Canakit for providing uh, the screen that I needed last minute. Uh, they came through real big on that, and I really do appreciate it. So definitely check them out as well. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.